Cubism is a style of art that started in 1907 with this particular painting called Les Demoiselles d'Avignon by Picasso. It's the ladies of Avignon. When Picasso first painted this and showed it to people, they thought it was a big joke. They didn't understand how could this be a person? Why would you chop them up into geometric pieces? Aren't people supposed to be beautiful? Well, in previous schools of art, they certainly were, and sometimes made to look even better than they were. But here, they definitely look more ugly. Well, Picasso was trying to show something else with art, that art didn't have to be reproducing something that we saw, but it could maybe show the feelings that we had about the subject or give off the feelings to the viewer. We see another example of cubism here with Marcel Duchamp's nude descending a staircase. It's hard to see a person walking downstairs there, but if you look very carefully, you could see evidence of a head, arms sort of moving along, and legs moving, and there's a staircase towards the pot at the bottom. When Marcel was trying to explain this image and how he came up with it, he used a photograph to show it off, a strobe photograph where there's one image on top of the other. Marcel can be seen here in this next photo, walking down the stairs, and you get the idea of how maybe he came up with this nude descending a staircase painting. The cubists would often show more than one point of view at the same time, shatter the image, but the important thing is there was always a subject. In this one by Umberto Boccini, it's called the development of a bottle in space. So cubism could even be used in three dimensions. This one, you could see that the bottle is broken up into different shapes and forms, and as you walk around the sculpture, it's as though the bottle appears and disappears, becomes itself, and then breaks apart. It's a really interesting work of art, and something that not too many people have ever tried before. In our next painting uh, by, of Picasso by Juan Gris, we can definitely see the subject. It's Picasso sitting as an artist with his palette in his hand and it's been shattered into geometric parts. So it has all the hallmarks of a cubist painting. Always a subject, broken into geometric parts, and sometimes having more than one point of view at the same time. Sometimes the cubist paintings, it was easy to see the subject, and sometimes it was a little bit more difficult, but that becomes a key component, because if there's no subject, it must be a different school of art. How about this one? In this painting, can you see the subject? It's by George Brock, a friend of Picasso. And if you look very closely, you might see the hint of a guitar in the middle of that. Because there's a subject and because it's been broken into geometric parts, we know that this is a cubist work of art.